Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Get Up and Go show. It's Friday today, and I am feeling so happy. What about you? We have a lot of fun things planned today. We're baking, we're doing arts and crafts, we're gonna learn to juggle. But first things first, we have an adventure to attend. Do you like dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs. My favorite is the Triceratops. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for one of them. Let's go searching for dinosaurs. <laughs> I'll race you to the camera. Go! Good morning, everybody. We're going to find some dancers today. Let's go. Whoa! Wow. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. What type of dinosaur is this one, Borden? It's a T-Rex. Oh, do you know any interesting facts about the T-Rex? Yeah, it was as big as the house. As big as a house? Yeah. What else? And, and sometimes it hunted triceratops to give to the female as a present. As a present? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure that's very nice. Yeah. And what about its teeth? What about its bite? Um, it was twice as strong as a lion's bite. It's twice as strong as a lion's bite. It doesn't have very big arms, though. The arms was um, small but strong. Oh, they were strong. Do you think he'd be very good at basketball? No. No. What sport could he play? I could say football. Football with big feet. Yeah. Excellent. Should we try find some more? Yeah. Come on then, let's go. Which one? You choose. Let's go over there. Let's go. Over here, Bo. Check this one out, Borden. Yeah. And what's the name of this dinosaur? Stegosaurus. A stegosaurus. Yeah. Do you know anything interesting about the stegosaurus? Yeah. Um, the size of its brain was a wall. Is a walnut. The size of its brain is a walnut. That's not very big. No. Oh dear, poor Stegosaurus. Anything else? Um, Stegosaurus was um, as long as a bus. As long as a bus? Wow, that is long. And could everyone sit on it like a bus? Mm, no, because it has the spikes. Oh yeah, you wouldn't want to sit on those spikes, would you? I wouldn't want to sit on them. You definitely wouldn't want to sit on them. Absolutely, wow. You can sit on the head It's though, huge. You could potentially sit on its head. Yeah, because it's a herbivore. Would it not eat you? No, it's a herbivore. What's a herbivore? It eats plant herbivores. Oh, eats plants. So we're safe around this one? Yeah. We don't have to be too scared. Yeah. That's good then. They're all so huge. Mm, not all of them. Not all of them? It's a it's teeny tiny. Oh, I wonder if there's any of them around. Mm. Should we go check? Yeah. Where are we going next? Mm, I went through the forest. Through the forest. Let's go. Do you think there's some dinosaurs? Probably. Probably. Whoa, what was that? I don't hear anything. No, nothing. Let's keep walking. Yeah. Hey, did you hear it? No. No, nothing. Let's go up here. You having fun? Um, yeah. How many dinosaurs have we seen so far? Um, two. two. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. 
Whoa. Whoa! That is huge. Yeah. What dinosaur is that one? Triceratops. Triceratops. I wonder where it gets its name from. Um, because of its three horns. It's three horns. Yeah. Ah, right. Interesting. Do you know anything else? Um, it is one of the most peaceful dinosaurs. Oh, it's the most peaceful one. That's nice. Yeah. Not as scary as a T-Rex. No. No. Will this one eat us? No. It's a herbivore. It's another herbivore. <sighs> I feel safe now. Yeah. Should we go look at it better? Whoa, Bo, check out its horns. Yeah. How many has he got? Three. Three? And do we know anything about his horns? Um, yeah, they're one of the most biggest horns. Biggest and longest. Yeah. They look quite sharp as well, don't they? Yeah. Wouldn't like to touch them. No. Nope. Not a chance. Fantastic. Very good. Do you know anything else? Um, yeah, it was really slow. Really slow? Yeah. Show me. Um, so it was like this. Oh, nice. And does it make any noises? Um, yeah, but not very good at making those noises. Not very, it wasn't very good at making noises? No. Ah, right. Like, uh, um, this is froze, um, um, change colour to show off against, against all the triceratopses and the one with the brightest colour gets the pack leader. Wow, what a wonderful dinosaur. Beautiful. Do you think there's any more? Yeah. Should we go check? Yeah. Come on then. Hey, I'm sure I can hear something. Sure. I'm sure there's something following us. I'm sure, sure. Sure, sure. Are you sure, 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 sure? I'm sure, 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 sure. Come on. Wow, he's huge. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Check out his long neck. Yeah. He's not going to eat us, is he? No, he has a bar. He's a herbivore. Do you know anything else about this one? Apart from that he's huge. The Plodocus could eat leaves on the trees without even chewing. Without chewing? It doesn't chew? No. Does that mean he's got no teeth? No, he has. He might have teeth, but he just doesn't want to chew. All right. Anything else? Um, as if Plodocus was one of the biggest. The biggest, yeah, you can see that, can't you? Yeah, you can Was he the biggest? Um, one of them. Right? Just one of them? Maybe, no. Was he friendly? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Fantastic. Check out the size of its legs. Yeah. Go stand next to it. Whoa. Huge. They're as big as you. I don't think the fear is big as me. They're a little taller. A little taller, you're just only a little bit taller than its feet. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm not even up to its top of its legs. <laughs> wow. Well, you're only like up to there. I am. Huge. Mm. 
Wow, Borden, how big is it? It's as big as a football pit. Wow. And as long as a blue wheel. That is huge. And as long as the blue wheel. It's huge. Did you just hear that? I did. Where is it? I've learned so many cool things, like even though a T-Rex has really little arms, they were really strong, and a Triceratops is really slow, and a herbivore as well. Who knew that a Diplodocus, oof, that's a hard word to say, is one of the longest dinosaurs? Wow! Thanks Bowden and Neil for that great adventure this morning. Next, we're going to go to story time. I am ready to relax from that big dinosaur adventure. How do you say in French the word for duck? Le canard. Le canard. Le canard. Excellent. <laughs> Gotta bring some more animals around here. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow. How tall are these animals here? What do you guys think are oh, the tallest animals? Yes, we've got huge, big giraffes. What are giraffes? They've got the big neck, and what are they? they eat all the leaves off the top of the trees. Can we reach up right up on my tiptoes? Let's eat all these leaves around the top. Oh, wow, wow super stretching like as far as you can because there's not many leaves left because all the other giraffes have ate them all oh yes yes guys yes well done well done Hello children, um, I'm Joanna and I'm from the Community Hubs in Hartlepool and today we're going to have a story called Sally the Oil Rig Seal and it's written by Peter Brunton who is a local author and we, it's, a tr it's based on true stories really of when he worked out on the oil rigs and he wanted to let his grandchildren know what was, what was happening. So we've got Sally the Oil Rig Seal. It was another cold November morning on board the North Sea oil rig. It was very, very cold, very chilly. And the time was nine o'clock and it was tea time. Time for hot rolls and cups of tea to warm the men who'd been working out in the cold. They're going to have their cups there and they've got their bread and toast. On their way to the tea hut, Peter the oil man Harry the gas man 
and Taffy, the Welsh crane driver, spotted something in the sea. I wonder what it can be. Look here, said Taffy, pointing to a dark shadow in the water. Right, I think it's going to be a seal. You see the seal? What is it, said Peter. It's Sally the seal, said Harry. She's back. And sure enough, in the water was a lovely shiny seal bobbing up and down in the waves. She looks as though she's smiling at us, said Peter. As Sally was bobbing up and down in the waves, looking up at her friends, she remembered seeing Taffy and Harry before. But she didn't know Peter, the one with the hairy face. He's got a beard and he, she didn't recognise him. She thinks, who's this working here? She comes back every year, said Harry. We will have to tell Derek the baker. He likes to take photos of Sally for his grandchildren and she catches fresh fish for him. Seals, that's their favourite food, fish. Now, watch her do her trick. Suddenly, Sally leapt up out of the water and then splash, she was gone. Let's see how long it takes her, said Harry. We will time her. So they look at their watches. It took Sally only seconds to reach the seabed where shoals of big fish lived. But there was something else on the seabed too, bigger than a fish. It was Dave, the diver, working. And he waved to Sally as she swam past. Right. Meanwhile, back on the oil rig, Peter, Taffy and Harry were looking at their watches. One minute on the dot and up popped Sally with a big fish in her mouth and all the men clapped and cheered. I can't believe it, said Peter. It only took her 60 seconds. Just one minute. Once she'd shown how clever she was, the little seal swam off to one of the other rigs to see her other friends. Bye bye Sally, shouted the men. See you next year. And a splash and Sally was gone. Now boys and girls, I hope you like that story. I like Sally, she's lovely, isn't she? And sometimes we go down to the coast at Hartley Bowl and other places and see the seals. And you can even go down to Seal Sands as well. And they're really lovely to watch. So I hope you'll get a chance to go and see them sometime. Right now, I think we're going to have another story now. Do you like another story? I like that one. And this one is called Sally and her pups. Mm, she's got some little pups now. Let's see what Sally does. Right, I'm going to sit on my knee, Sally, because yeah, there you go. It was 12 o'clock and lunchtime on board the oil rig in the North Sea. And Gordy the chef was serving Peter his favourite meal of fish and chips with mushy peas. Oh, do you like that? I bet some of you do. Whilst eating their lunch, Taffy asked Peter if there'd been any sign of Sally. It's been nearly two years since she was last here. I hope she's all right, said Peter. And after lunch, Peter and Owen, the control man, were looking out to sea. How old do you think Sally is now? asked Owen. I think she'll be five. Five? Wow. I think I read that female grey seals mate when they're three to five years old. And I bet she's found herself a mate. And that's exactly what had happened. One day, Sally was swimming around the island and she spotted a group of grey bull seals. And there, sitting on the rock, sticking out his neck and singing his song was Sid, the biggest, strongest, most handsome seal Sally had ever seen. It was love at first sight. Mm. Sally swam nearer. She just had to have a closer look. And the bull seal spotted her and started diving in to impress her. 
She didn't move, she just sat and waited. Sid made his move. He dived in, swimming deep and fast, to beat all his rivals. He surfaced next to Sally, sweeping her off her flippers. And one year later, Sally gave birth to two fine, healthy twin pups. And after six months of feeding her pups, Sally decided to visit her friends on the oil rig. And it was Thursday on the oil rig, and that meant the crew changed. Taffy, Peter, and the rest of the crew were on the heli deck, dressed in their survival suits and waiting for the helicopter to land. Going to be going back home. Look, shouted Ricky, the deck foreman, look in the water, a seal with her pups. And all the men rushed to the railings to get a better look. It's Sally, said Peter, and she's brought her pups to see us, to show us. Just then, the helicopter came into land. And as the helicopter lifted off, everybody waved to Sally. Goodbye, Sally. It's time for us to go home and see our children. Goodbye, Sally. Goodbye. Goodbye. The next day, Peter had arranged to have lunch with his friend Davy, the truck driver, at the Brassier on Hudson Quay. Peter was looking out of the restaurant window when he spotted a seal and her pups in the quay. It can't be, said Peter, gazing at the seals, or could it? Peter and Davy rushed outside to get a closer look. It is, it's Sally and her pups, Peter said, but how did she get here? And how did she know where I live? She must be really clever, what do you think? Mm. And she got her little pups, so. You like your pups, don't you, Sally? Mm, right. Now I think, should we sing a song? Would you like to sing a song, boys and girls? It's called Sally's Song. And if we're really, really fortunate, we might have a special guest who comes. I wonder who that might be. Who do you think that might be, Pam? Sally? The seal, can you give her a wave? Hi, Hi Sally. Sally. <laughs> Hello. Now we've got a lovely song that I hope you'll all be able to join in with and it's called well, it's Sally's Song and it's bobbing up and down. When we do the bobbing up and down you've got to just go up and down like this. Can you do that for us? Bobbing up, up, up and, and down in the greyish North Sea <laughs> Who? Sally the Seal Catching fresh fish for the oil man's tea Dashing, dashing, thrashing there, happy, smiling, not a care. Must the seal, seal be loved to see? Who? Sally the seal. Up and down in the great North Sea, who Sally the seal catching fresh fish for the oil man's tea? Who Sally the seal slashing, dashing, thrashing there, happy, smiling, not a care. Who's the seal we love to see? Who? Sally the seal. Dashing, dashing, dashing there. Happy, smiling, out of the air. Who's the seal we love to see? Who? Sally the seal. Boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's been so lovely and I hope you've been able to join in with the singing and I hope you like the stories as well. And if you get chance, do go down to, over to the coast and see if you can see any seals. 
because they're great fun to watch and you might even see them diving. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Well, you take care and see you another day. Bye. <laughs>